In this video I'll show you how to change the default card in Google Payment for the in-store payment. When you go in a shop and you pay with the phone, with Google Wallet you can actually set a specific card to be the default one and I will show you right now. First you have to open the wallet app and you can check the settings from here. You have the option to check the wallet app and you might have to enter your fingerprint. Here I have the cards that I have enabled under my profile. You can open the Google Wallet from the quick settings menu from the wallet button. It's the easiest thing. You can do it from here or you can open it from the app itself. I have the wallet app here. This is the Google Pay. They used to call it Google Pay. Now they call it Google Wallet. But it's Google Pay in general and Google Wallet for multiple passes. You can add tickets and cards with your camera. So if you have a bus ticket or a plane ticket, it's, really, it's a really nice option to add the plane ticket. And I'll close that. These are the payment cards. And I want to set one as default. If I want to change it, I'll show you now how to change it. First, you go to the card that you want to set as default for in-store payment. I will go to my Revolut card, tap on the card itself. You see, this card is already set as default for contactless, so I will go to the other card. First, you have to select the card, go to the card view, tap on the card itself. And here you see your transactions and you can tap on the card again. And you see more information about the card, the activity. Then you also have this option, make default for pay contactless. Tap there. And now it says this is card is the default for contactless. And you can go back, it shows this option here, it shows this on the screen. And if I go to my Revolut card, it shows like this. If I have one card as set as default for contactless payments with the phone, but I want to use another card when I make the payment, I can open the wallet up and this is the default card. Okay, you might have to enter your fingerprint okay so from here you can open the wallet app and in the wallet app it opens to the default card for contactless payments but if i switch the card and now i tap on the payment terminal it will pay with the revolt card this card and if i want to make this card always the default for contactless i tap on it and you see it says hold to reader it's ready to pay now with this card not the other one but if i tap again on this card i have the option to make default for pay contactless i tap there and it says revolt is your default for contactless and now it says here is default for contactless if i close the wallet up and i open it again it's gonna open on the revolut card but actually I don't have to open the app at all. All I have to do is press and I might have to enter the fingerprint if needed. If not, to be able to pay with your Android phone, you actually don't need to open the wallet app, but you might have to use the fingerprint to verify that it's you. This is for security reasons. The reason to open the wallet app is to see the transactions and to switch to another card if you want. But when you set the default, it's default in store, not default online. I hope this helps you pay with the card that you want and not pay with the card, another card by mistake. You can pay as it is. And if it asks for a fingerprint, you can use the fingerprint. For me, the fingerprint is on the side button here, between to the power button, the side button. This is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5. For most Android phones, usually the fingerprint sensor is on the screen. I hope this helps you select the payment card you want to use with Google Wallet or Google Pay. Thanks for watching.